Hey guys, it's Ira here, and today I'm going to do a build video, but this time it's not going to be on my Guardian or my Thief, instead this build is going to be on my Warrior. Um, Warrior is a class that I did shy away from at the start of uh, Guild Wars 2 just because of the way it was, and I really enjoyed Hammer and Axe playstyle, but I'm glad to see that it's kind of making a comeback with the build that I've just made, the build is Hammer. And Hammer is mainly just, you know, huge CC and very large, you know, consistent amounts of damage. Not great sword damage, but it still can bring out the damage. And you have a lot of utility with your F1 being a huge stun. You've got a two second knockdown and a cripple and immobilize along with weakness and knockbacks. It's a very, very fun build to play and definitely, definitely something you want to try in hot join and tournaments as well. I'm also using the one-handed sword and shield for mobility and also for the shield bash and the block. Um, basically you can switch between mace or hammer or I mean uh, axe also in your one hand slot. It's you know it doesn't change the build too much, you can pretty much switch between them two. It's more about personal preference. Now the heal I'm using is mending because it's just a heal that I prefer. I'm using frenzy because the combo that I do do is I get full adrenaline, I then F1 into frenzy and auto hit for huge huge damage and my auto hit hits a lot and with frenzy up it ha happens very very quickly i have endure pain also as just you know to reduce damage taken when i'm frenzying pretty much i use them both together and i'm using signet of rage though i would switch to you know battle standard in tournament play let's have a look at what else i'm using in this build i'm using a berserker's amulet with a berserker's jewel and I'm rolling with around 3 point, just under 3.3k power, which is a lot. 42% crit chance, 42% crit damage. Um, I've got small toughness and vitality, but this build really is used for just, you know, causing havoc in team fights, going in, one-shotting people pretty much. Similar to Greatsword, just a different take on it. Now, the set I'm actually using is Divinity, though you could swap Divinity out for many things. If you wanted to become a bit more tanky, you could pick up uh, things like the Warrior Rune set, which would be very, very nice to put on your gear. It's personal preference, pretty much. On the weapon, I'm using Fire, because the AoE Blast is just extremely strong in team fights. I'm using Fire on my one-handed sword, though you could swap this out for a number of things. And I'm using Energy on this weapon, because basically it's always nice getting extra energy back when you do go defensive. Now, as for the traits that I've picked, I'm 20, 0, 30, 10, 10. Something that you don't usually see, and I'm going to explain what, I've, what exactly I've picked in now. Now, in strength, I've picked 5% power, given as a bonus to vitality, and also Berserker's power, increased damage based on how much adrenaline you've got. Now, this can be swapped out for a couple of things, like remove crippled and chilled when you uh, heal, but I basically picked this because I was low on health and I wanted that extra bit of health. Also, this is pretty much mandatory as you've always got full adrenaline. Zero in arms, and remember, 30 in defence. Now, the reason I've picked this is to get, give myself a bit more durability and toughness. Also, it increases the hammer damage that I do do. So, I've got increased stance duration by 25% because I do roll with two stances, remember. I've got hammer damage increased by 25% when someone's disabled. So, when I do knock someone down or stun them, they take a lot of damage. And I've also got activating jaw pain at 25%, which I find very strong. You know, having one in jaw pain, and then also when I'm dropping to around 5k, another one procking is very, very strong. I've got leg specialist, Im immobilize when you cripple a target with a skill. Basically, this is pretty much mandatory in all my warrior builds because I feel like it's so strong. With hammer shock, you have an AoE crip uh, immobilize, and you also have an immobilize on hamstring, so you have a lot of control. It just adds to your control. And as my final thing, I have got heightened focus, increased critical chance because, once again, I always have full adrenaline, so I always have that extra 9%. I also want to point out, I've picked Signet of Fury for this build, as I like always to have full adrenaline, so I can start with a full stun. You can pick other things, but I feel like this is the best at the moment to run with this build, as it gives you the most on-demand burst. Anyway, I hope you did enjoy this small guide slash video, and if you did, please throw it a thumbs up or subscribe. And I'll speak to you guys very soon and I'll have more Guardian, Thief, Ranger and Warrior content coming very soon. Thank you for watching.